What's up guys, Gary to a self taught dev. Today we're gonna to talk about one of the most important things you need to have to become a web developer or a developer in general, or to be successful in any aspect of life. And that is a growth mindset. Now you either have a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. So what, what is a growth mindset? What is a fixed mindset? And you can tell which mindset you have by when you, when you run into a problem, do you say, ooh, this is really hard. I'm not smart enough to do this. I'm gonna go find something else to do. Or do you say, ooh, this is really hard. This is gonna be a challenge, but I know that if I bang my head against the wall long enough, Google stuff, ask friends, family, mentors, I can figure this out and overcome this obstacle. And you wanna be the person that looks at a challenge and has that, that growth mindset that says, hey, I can figure this out. I It might take me a long time. I might be a slow learner, so it might take longer than average. But as long as I keep banging my head against the wall and working on this, eventually it will click and my brain will say, oh, that's the answer and you will get through it. And I feel like that's probably the reason 90% of people who try to become developers fail. They run into a problem, like maybe the HTML and CSS honestly isn't super hard. Maybe they get to JavaScript, they start running into problems that they can't, they spend a few days on and they can't figure it out. And they say, oh, well, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm just not smart enough to do this. I'm not smart enough to be a developer. And then they quit. And there is no, I'm not smart enough to do this. As humans, our brains are built to improvise, adapt, learn, and grow. And as long as you keep working at something, it's inevitable that you will succeed. You only fail if you give up. Like when I was trying to become a developer, there was no there was no failure in my mind. It was like, hey, I'm gonna keep hammering away at this. I don't care if it takes a year, five years, 10 years, as long as I know if I keep hammering at this, eventually I will get to a point where some business owner will say, oh yeah, he's good enough, we can give him a shot. But if I didn't have that mindset, if I didn't know that as long as I keep pushing at this and grinding and trying to grow and trying to do better, that I would succeed if I was like, all right, I'm going to try this for a year. And if I can't get a job after a year, well, I'm just not smart enough. I can't do it and quit. Then that's when you fail. You only fail when you quit. Wait, back to the growth mindset thing. Um, you've got to have a growth mindset, not just in the tech area of life, not just in becoming a web developer, but in every area of life, um, ways you can develop a growth mindset. One, this, this might be a little like weird or controversial, but I think you can brainwash yourself into having a growth mindset. Uh, if you have like an iPhone or an Android or just anything with access to YouTube, if you Google motivational videos and just have that running in the background as you go throughout your day and do your like, I don't know, mop, laundry, dishes, make dinner while you're going for an hour long walk, just have motivational videos playing in your ear. Um, I think your subconscious kind of like absorbs that and that gets integrated into you. Super weird, don't have any scientific data to back that up, but I feel like that's one of the things that happened to me because like when I was trying to become a developer um, and actually even before that, when I was just like, I hate my job, I need to figure something out, I would have motivational videos just going on in the background and just like listening to like E.T., Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn. Um, I think those are probably my favorite or um, Greg Plitt. He was like a fitness model and he died doing some like stupid advertisement where he was trying to like outrun a train and like jump over the tracks or something like that. But he's got a lot of good motivational stuff. So if you Google any of those people's names and motivational video, um, I think that is a good place to start or just motivational videos in general because there's usually good compilations of that. So that's one good way to start building a growth mindset. Just like listen to what they, they say over and over and over again. Um, Cause he, less, less, what's his name? Yeah. Les Brown, um, or maybe it's Eric Thomas. One of them's got like the, I can, I will, I must thing. But just listening to that a lot helps. Jim Rohn preaches a lot of good, uh, like he's not quite so motivational. He's more like, these are the foundations of what you need to be successful. He talks about like the income ladder and how like when you're new, you graduate high school, you're at the bottom of the income ladder. And the goal is to climb up the income ladder. It's not to stay at the bottom, um, working at like McDonald's or something like that. Like you need to learn and acquire new skills so you can offer more value to the world. Uh, and, and then that's what helps you climb the income ladder. You're paid according to how much value you provide. And that's one of the reasons why developers make a lot of money when they get good, uh, because because they're like the to get good, you have to have a high level of skill. Um, to get that high level of skill takes time, and there's not a lot of people relatively who are willing to put in the work to learn and grow and get to that level of skill. So, the supply of great web developers or good web developers exceed does not exceed the demand. And I mean, it's economics like the supply demand curve, right? The more something's in demand the higher it's gonna cost. So yeah, one way, basically just brainwash yourself. I don't know if that works or not. Um, I feel like that happened. I feel like I did that to myself 
Um, some of my friend, like one of the guys in my Discord disagrees with that. Not my Discord, like the gaming buddies I play with. Uh, one of them disagrees with it because like, he just doesn't like the word brainwash. I don't see the big deal. Like if you, if you're gonna brainwash yourself with beliefs that are bad, like that you don't agree with, um, that's probably not a good thing. Like, and I, I actually, I feel like that happens a lot. If you're at the lower end, like the lower end of the totem pole of society, like the ads that you get targeted by on the radio, um, society is basically propagating information to keep you down at that lower end. So you really are like the average of the five people you hang out around with the most, right? And those five people don't have to actually be like physical people you hang out with. Like they, you can have, there's a lot of people on YouTube who are successful, like all these motivational speakers, um, or there's a lot of other people. Like if you Google other, like if you just go to YouTube and type in self-taught web developers, I'm sure a lot of good people come up. But just being around them virtually, listening to them, absorbing their knowledge helps uh, kind of light the fire. It's kind of like they're a like burning bonfire and you're just this pile of logs over here. And a lot of the guys I listen to, it's like they, they start kind of like catching my pile of logs on fire and give me motivation to keep going and like keep trying new stuff and learning and growing. Um, maybe, I, maybe I do that for some of you guys. Maybe like seeing a guy who worked at like a call center and made like 40K going from there to like learning how to code to working like big financial institution for like er, be working as a developer at like a big financial institution making six figures. Maybe that inspires you, gives you, or maybe some of the stuff I talk about gives you ideas. And I hope it does. That's kind of like one of the reasons I do these videos. Yeah, what else can you do to develop a growth mindset? Um, you can do positivity challenges. Those help a lot, like making sure you focus on the positive part and not the negative part. There's something in your brain called the reticular activation system, or that might not be exactly, it's the RAS, but that's basically determining what you focus on in life. Uh, if you've ever got a new car before, you might go to the dealership, get the car, and then you start noticing, oh wait, there are a lot of these cars out on the road. That's because before your RAS was not focused on that particular car. Um, and now that you have one, your RAS is more focused on that car. So it's going to notice that a lot more. Like as humans, there's way too much stimulation and too much stuff going on in our environment for us to not have a directed focus. And you have to be intentional about what you focus on, right? Like you can't just focus on the negative stuff. If you're watching the news every day, like MSNBC or CNN or Fox or whatever the other news companies are that are just propagating like negative stuff, um, you're gonna have a more negative mindset because you're focused on the negative versus if you listen to motivational stuff every day, if you focus on the positive, you look at your goals in your notebook and your journal every morning, um, you're like, this is what I'm gonna get done. This is the life I'm building. This is what I'm going for you're gonna have a more positive outlook. But anyway, positivity challenge, right? So get a rubber band, basically just have that on your wrist. Um, and then for 30 days, whenever you have a negative thought, pop the rubber band on your wrist so you get like a little hit of pain. And then you need to reframe that negative um, thought into a positive thought. Like maybe, what's a good example of this? The only one I can think of right now is something Jocko Willick, talk, uh, Willick talks about in his book. Um, I'm blank, blank on the name of his book right now too. But he like puts in a request to get new, new, better gear for his squad um, so they can be more effective in the field. And the request gets denied. And he's like, good, that's going to give us an opportunity to practice more with what we have, work on being more resourceful. And you just got to like reframe it in a positive way. You don't look at the negative. You don't have to, you don't say, ah, dang, we didn't get this gear. This is going to suck. Our missions are going to be horrible now. You have to focus on what you can control and what you can, like the good you can pull out of that situation uh like if you go approach some chick or um like if you go approach some girl you think's attractive and she rejects you you can just focus on the rejection and say ah oh, dang that sucks i'm not good enough i'm never gonna be good enough and go like the fixed mindset route or you can work on the growth mindset and say hey every rejection is another brick in my wall of strength because uh, that's building like your emotional immune system right like having a high stress tolerance and being resilient as another big important part of being successful. You got to be able to handle all the rejection or like when I was applying for jobs, that might be a better example. I probably sent out thousands of resumes. I can't tell you how many emails I got back saying, Hey, thank you for applying, but we're going with somebody else. Um, I got like four or five, six of those a day. Probably. Um, I ended up with only two job interviews, but that's all I needed. Cause I had, I had 
got my job interview skills super sharp, which is also another thing you need to work on. Just Google how to improve your job interview skills, work on that a little bit, but that's, I digress. So those are a few things I would recommend doing to develop a growth mindset. Um, one, listen to motivational videos, essentially brainwash yourself into having a growth mindset. Um, spend time around people who are where you want to be and like higher up than you in life because you're the average of the five people you hang around with the most. It's cliche, but it is absolutely true. If all of your friends are achieving um, high level, like if all your friends are shredded and you're like, oh, I'm going to go get McDonald's and your friends look at you and they're like, what? What does this dude do? Why is he getting McDonald's? We're meal prepping. We're trying to get shredded and look awesome. Um, they're going to like their disapproval. If you go in and get McDonald's is going to affect you and make you not want to get McDonald's as much or they're going to cut you out of their friend circle probably. Try doing a positivity challenge where you reframe negative thoughts into positive thoughts whenever they come up in your head. Um, and then another quick little tidbit is also start meditating too because meditation, uh, it, I mean, it, sound, it might sound like woo woo and weird, but it helps increase blood, blood flow to your prefrontal cortex, which is part of the brain that helps regulate your emotional control. And that's a big thing you need to have in life. Um, and that's something that's a lot of the West, I feel like is losing. Um, they're more like just be in the moment and like have, however you feel like express it and whatever the hell, but you need to be able to control your emotions, right? Like that's an important part of becoming more capable in life. If somebody cuts you off on the road, on the road in the morning, on your way to work, are you getting pissed about that and be pissed all day long? Or are you going to just let that go and say, Hey, that guy probably had somewhere to get to. He's probably late for something. He's probably gonna have a bad day, but I'm not gonna let that affect me. I'm gonna have a great day still um, because I'm awesome or something like, I don't know what, what else you would think to reframe that, but yeah. So I meant for this to be just a talk on having a growth mindset over a fixed mindset, but kind of turned into a dump of a bunch of random knowledge. Uh, if you got something out of this, give me a thumbs up so you do know some good stuff and I will try to put out, I'll try to like do more random knowledge dumps of like, my mindset and like what I think about success and like growing and learning. Cause I'm still like, I'm not, I'm nowhere near the top. I'm or at least I'm nowhere near where I want to be. I want to climb a lot higher in life, but yeah, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the awesome stuff I'm putting out. I'm working on a course or like the path to dev. Maybe I'm going to call it. I don't know. Floating that name. If you like it, let me know in the comments below. And it's basically gonna be a course or like a path on how to go from zero to dev. Gonna have like HTML, CSS courses, eventually JavaScript courses. It's you're gonna be building projects along the way, which is the most important part to becoming a dev. Building projects on your own. Don't get stuck in tutorial hell just watching videos over and over again and building alongside somebody. You have to go off and build stuff on your own. Otherwise, the knowledge doesn't get deeply embedded in your brain. Um, it's not gonna stick. You're not gonna do as good unless you're building stuff on your own and actually implementing the knowledge. College. So mm, make sure you hit subscribe so you can know when that comes out. If you want to come join the self-taught dev subreddit, it's r slash the self-taught dev. Uh, Discord link is also in the description if you'd rather come hang out in there and talk tech in there with me. And if you want to get my resume template, the one I used when I was applying to dev jobs when I was, before I had any tech experience, look in the description. I'll have a link to that as well. I think that's about it for this one. Hope you got some good stuff out of it, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. One.